Hello, my name is Tony Detter, and I'd like to welcome you to my video field trip of the Monterey Bay and the 17-mile drive. The Monterey Bay is one of the world's largest natural bays on the central coast of California, and it is a natural marine sanctuary. To get to the 17-mile drive, you enter through one of six gates and are immediately deposited on the shore of some of the most fertile sea area in the world. Today, we are taking a video tour on a January day where the air temperature is 55 degrees and the water temperature is a cool 53. One of the hallmarks of the Monterey Bay is that the water is deep and cold year round. This water will never get above about 58 degrees at any point throughout the year. Our 17 mile drive tour starts at the north end of the 17 mile drive at a place called Spanish Bay. The red tiled roof that you see here in these images is the inn at Spanish Bay. And this cove got its name from Spanish sailors who would shipwreck from the rough waters here. You also see a surfer. Uh, surfers are common because the waves can range from these two to three foot waves up to 50 foot waves and is a great challenge for surfers of all ability. One of the great aspects of the 17 mile drive is this rock outcropping, Point Joe. It is bordered by the Spanish Bay and is a place called the Restless Sea. Because the waves crash forming the Restless Sea, you also get these incredible tide pools that have many shellfish and invertebrates that live in them. These shellfish are the source of food for larger fish like humpback whales, killer whales, harbor seals, and sea otters. The Monterey Bay is bordered by the Del Monte Forest. It's 10 square miles of forest that was originally owned by a man named Charles Crocker. Charles Crocker was one of four businessmen who created the Southern Pacific Railroad, and he purchased this land in the 1800s. The forest is home to two distinct trees, the Monterey Pine and the Monterey Cypress. And in World War II, when the economy struggled, these sands that are right here on the shore were mined and used for industrial purposes. The Monterey Bay, as I mentioned, has an abundance of sea life and is one of the most attractive parts of the bay. Here we see Fanshell Beach where the waves crash onto the rocky shores with the sands here that you can see are quite rocky and filled with shellfish. If we go just a little bit south of Fanshell Beach, we enter the Crocker Cypress Grove. This cypress grove is a dense collection of those famous Monterey Cypress, which are highlighted by the tree you see here, which is the Lone Cypress. This tree is the emblem of the Pebble Beach Golf Links and has been standing in this rocky outcropping for over 250 years, having survived fires and storms. This Monterey Cypress tree grows in only about a 30 mile stretch of the Central California coastline here. In addition to the Lone Cypress, you also have an area of the Cypress Grove called Ghost Trees. Ghost Trees is famous for two things. One, the Monterey Cypress, whose trunks have been bleached almost ghostly white by the sun, as well as some of the biggest big waves that surfers from around the world will come to surf in January each year. This Cypress Grove borders the Pebble Beach Golf Links that you see here. On the right, the checkered flag is the number three green. You see the T for number 17, Stillwater Cove, and the Santa Lucia Mountains behind it. In addition to sea life, the Monterey Bay also has many types of birds. Here you see two cormorants, a local bird that is like a sea-going duck. Because, as I mentioned, the waters are so cold, you get humpback whales that come here throughout the year, gray whales, killer whales, sea otters, and in a minute, we'll see some harbor seals. Here are some common seagulls that habitat a part of the 17-mile drive called Bird Rock. Right next to Bird Rock is another namesake rock, Seal Rock. Here, the harbor seals will fish in the cold waters 
take their fish up onto the rocks, eat, and sun themselves. Many times of year, there are hundreds of seals here on Seal Rock or swimming in the waters right next to it, as you can see in this portion of the video. When the seals get active, they will bark, and you can almost uh, barely hear yourself think they're so loud. The waters here today on our January day are relatively calm, but only three weeks before, this video shows big wave surfers catching over 50-foot waves at ghost trees. Surfers will come from around the world in a two- or three-week span in late January to surf these enormous waves in the same place that you just saw calm waters. I hope you enjoyed our video for today. We had a fun time preparing it. My daughter Ella was our cameraman, producer, and director. And we hope you learned a little bit about the great marine life and central coast of California of the Monterey Bay. <music>